Hey, what's up you guys? It's AJ and Katie here at AJ and Katie Gaming. And we just wanted to uh, basically just talk about our experience at Bethesda Land this year at E3. Yeah, so Bethesda Land was Bethesda's E3 2017 conference. And it was a new spin on doing an E3 conference. Um, they basically created a theme park for their properties. Um, that the attendees could just hang out in until their conference began and after their conference was over. And it was like basically a party. Yeah, it was a party. It, it was, was a mini theme park party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With an open bar and a lot of free food. Yeah. Um, so among the, uh, the events that they had, first of all, we got these lanyards, very pretty lanyards. With the map, um, says uh, Bethesda Land and has the date and stuff. Should I open it? Yeah, sure. Open it up. Show them the map. So it was in, they all they handed this to us as we were walking in, and this is what they were using to advertise for it too. But it was just really cool that they gave us each one. It's so cute. I want to frame it. Little Kako Demon. He's the best. Okay, we should put a picture too. No, just have that. <laughs> a picture of the map? Okay. Yeah. So we'll show that. We'll show you all the picture. And, uh, yeah. Um, so the lanyards were great. And what was even better, though, so they have themed lands. It was kind of think um, if you've ever been to Disneyland or... Um, yeah, any theme park, Basically, really. any, yeah, any theme park. Basically, there were just lands for each Bethesda property. So uh, you start out in Fallout Land, and you walk through. It kind of looks post-apocalyptic. Um, and, um, there's, uh, just, there's a ton of Fallout themed things around, kind of like arcade games. Yeah. Um, and, um, then there's a Ferris wheel, uh, at kind of like the end of the Fallout area. Kind of the central... central Focus. Yeah. In the middle of everything. Yeah. It was so cool. And so then, um, to the right is where everything was happening after that. You have, like, a prey... Uh, area. It was like a bar kind of mm. themed area. And um, then further down from that, you had kind of like a walkway with um, to the left there was Doom and then Dishonored, and to the right there was Elder Scrolls and then Quake. Mm. And then it ended. And um, there were no Wolfenstein or the Evil Within sets at the beginning, before the conference. So, <laughs> so we're walking around and um, they're giving away free pins. Um, mm. Free pins at each area. Do you want to show? Um, yeah, we, we, we have our pins um, on our, our lanyards, but we took a couple of them off. Um, so here's Kako Demon, which is my favorite. Mine too. Um, okay, both of our favorite. Um, yeah, adorable. So cute. Um, how could you make a demon so cute? I don't know, <laughs> but uh, Kako Demon is adorable. So don't show that one yet. I know, I'm holding it. I'm so, holding on to it. So, so basically, um, you can go around, and there, there were six, like, basically pin holders in each land. You could go and ask for pins, and you would just get the pin, basically. They would scan your, your RFID bracelet, and um, you'd get the pin. Um, so it was really awesome. Open bar. At the Doom area, there were Kako Demon shots. It was basically tequila. Just like, tequila. It, but they it said were, tequila and actual fire. Oh, we should yeah. just show that picture. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, yeah, and um, they would set it on fire. Yeah. That was awesome. It was so cool. And the, the ladies who were making it were just so friendly and like, yeah, I don't know. It was a great experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, there was also a giant revenant. Um, we toasted uh, to the Revenant. Um, he was a big, big chill demon. D didn't harm us, luckily. <laughs> um, yeah, the Doom area was was one of our favorites before the conference. Then um, uh, Dishonored, Quake, Elder Scrolls—they were all okay. Um, I mean, I mean, it was awesome, but like had... you know, not as cool as Doom yeah. or Fallout. Yeah, to those us. were our favorites. Yeah, yeah. Um, before the conference. But they did have. Uh, was it just? Elder Scrolls Online playing in the yeah. Elder Scrolls area, that was so that very was cool. really cool. And people were just like hanging out and playing. Yeah, and they were giving out beer and tankards. Very it was cool. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love Skyrim. <laughs> and uh, neither of us eat meat, so um, you know there was a lot of free food, but a lot of it was like meat uh, had meat in it. But they had these quinoa quake burgers, these little like black mini sliders, basically. <laughs> 
and they were so good. They we so good. ate so many of those. Yeah. Um, those were delicious. <laughs> um, and then um, the conference starts. And as the conference starts, they have this wall that just kind of disappears. Like the wall opens up and there's a stage and um, they have the conference. The conference was awesome. You all saw that. You don't need to hear about that from us, really. I mean, uh, it was it was a good conference. A lot of people didn't weren't happy with it for different reasons, um, but we were really happy with it. I mean, New Wolfenstein, New Evil Within, for us, that was huge. Um, but uh, so that the conference was cool, and they had a, uh, what was the guys, the chain smokers? Yeah, the chain smokers showed up secret. It was like a big secret. And I guess they did this last year, too, and it was Blink-182. So I didn't. I, I don't. I, I think that's what. I, okay. okay. No, I, I, I believe that's I, what I, I, I read. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, they like keep it a secret up until like they're like, and now <laughs> here they are. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Neither of us are like huge fans or anything, but you know, I it's didn't. just awesome that Bethesda. Yeah. You know, gets cool artists yeah. to come. You know, perform for their press conference for yeah. their. You know. And they don't show it at their press conference. It's only for the people who are there physically. So I right. think it's just really cool. They throw a big party. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I wasn't familiar with the Chainsmokers, but once they started playing, I mean, it was fun. It was like a party atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, after the conference, obviously, is when they began playing. So then, though, in this area where the conference was, once the wall opened up, now there's the Evil Within and the Wolfenstein areas. And of course, they were saving those because they were revealing the two new games. And so they were more themed for the new games. Um, and, uh, oh man, so cool. Um, there was like the Wolfenstein Diner. These were like the coolest ones. They were cooler than Doom and Fallout, I think. And I think they did it on purpose because yeah. it's their two new games coming out. Mm -hmm. But um, there was like uh, the Wolfenstein Diner. Um, this in the new game. And um, is it like, is it, is it Papa Joe's? Does that sound right? Um, the, the name of the diner. Papa Joe's Diner, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah, with basically, you know, like the, um, you know, the Nazi occupied America propaganda and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, then the best part from both of us was the Evil Within area. The Evil Within area was absolutely amazing. They, there was, okay, there was creepy art all over the walls. It was like an art gallery of basically horror. Yeah, grotesque and, images, like, yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> and there were also just, there was a huge circular bar of champagne Free champagne, of course. Open bar. Um, <laughs> we had a lot of champagne with rose petals in them. And it was just amazing. It looked so beautiful. And um, behind it, like, they had, like, stuff written, like, uh, on the walls, like, smile for me and appreciate the art. Once again, you know, from, from the new trailer for The Evil Within 2. Mm -hmm. Or for uh, the trailer, I should say, for The Evil Within 2. And it was, it was so cool. We hung out in there for so long. And the ice cream was, um, the ice cream was the Evil Within. It was supposed to be, right? Because it was black and white. Yeah, it, yeah, it was like black and white twist. It was yeah. pretty, it was like almost creepy, like, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So it was so cool. So the, the conference was amazing, or the, the party, I should say Bethesda Land was amazing. The conference was really good. I mean, I, I really liked the conference, but um, the, the Bethesda Land was so cool. And now, um, I believe I've covered everything. Um, oh yeah, the pen. Yeah, show show the pen. Which way is up? Um, this this is the <laughs> bottom right here because it like walks like that. Oh okay. So, so like this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so got we, it. So we got the Evil Within pen here to show too. Um, just because I actually really like this thing. Um, in the trailer, it's uh, you know kind of just walking around <laughs> on the on the ceiling and wall. Being creepy. Being creepy, taking pictures. So uh, yeah, I, I wanted to show that pen. So yeah, um, we there were eight pins total, and we got yep. the eight pins. Um, as you can see, I've got six on mine because those are my other two, and Katie's got her eight. Very nicely arranged here. Thank two, you so much. <laughs> two two columns of four. Mine are all kind of. Well, I need the symmetry. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's nice. I have to say, it looks it's nice to look at. Um, but I think I've covered everything besides the special highlight of our evening. Um, so as right after the conference, we go and get a couple Kako Demon shots. We didn't want to drink before the conference because we were like. We want to like be in our right minds, you know, be able to like really take this in. <laughs> um, but once the conference was over, we were like, "All right, it's time to drink," and we went and got. We started with a couple of Kako Demon shots because, of course, the flaming Kako Demon shots um, in skull glasses. But oh yeah, in see, skull but... shot glasses. Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> um, we so were pumped. We're pumped. We're sitting there. We we drink our shots, and one of our favorite YouTubers walks by, Jake Baldino. And um, we may have freaked him out a little bit. I don't know, <laughs> but but I don't know 
if he was too freaked out because we stopped him and we were like, Jake Valdino, you know, you're one of our favorite YouTubers. Um, I actually told him, Katie has said in the past, I'm very, uh, to, to, to you all, that I'm very ranked, uh, rank centric. Yeah. I have to rank everything. Well, my favorite gaming YouTubers, number one is James Rolfe, hands down, but number two, I would say is Jake Baldino. And I told him that. I was like, you're my second favorite uh, gaming YouTuber and, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and we were just talking to him and it was so cool because he's so down to earth. This is a dude who, who runs a channel that has 3.5 million subscribers. And then even his personal YouTube channel right now has about 100,000 uh, subscribers. And um, this is a guy that just, he was so chill and he talked to us, I kid you not, for about 20 minutes. He was awesome. And he we was, told him he was awesome, and he was like, I'm not awesome. And we were like, no, you really are awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> you're our, yeah, you're our go-to anytime we want to have video game news and stuff, so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were definitely fan, fangirl, fanboying out, whatever. Starstruck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, seriously. He's, he's like a celebrity to us, so. Yeah. So, um, we that was... We see him almost every day on our TV. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so later, as we were just kind of casually drinking champagne in the Evil Within bar, um... I think we were on like our fourth champagne, so we were at that point we were getting a little tipsy. But um, Jake, and then also from Game Ranks, um, Andrew the new guy, and then Tom the cameraman, were all in there, and they happened to walk by, and Jake said bye to us. So he like remembered en us enough, and wasn't freaked out en um, by us enough, I guess, to then still be willing to say bye. So it was a very cool experience. Super uh, cool. Yeah. So um, we told him, and it stayed true that it was one of our highlights of our entire E3 experience was getting to talk to him. So Not just awesome. Bethesda Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. And we did see other cool YouTubers like Matt Pat. We saw Matt Pat. That was really cool. We didn't talk to him, but we did see him we twice. We saw him through the crowd. We were like, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, as Katie was saying, it wasn't just one of our favorite moments from Bethesda Lamb. It was one of our favorite or best moments from all of E3. So yeah, um, definitely check out Game Ranks if you haven't already. Um, in terms of video game news and content on YouTube, I mean, they're at the top. So. They're our favorite. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, that was Bethesda Land for us. Uh, we just thought uh, we just thought it'd be fun to uh, share with you all how it went because, you know, a lot of it was behind the scenes. You know, you see the yeah. conference. You, yeah. Like the conference, you know, uh, and all that. But um, seeing all the behind the scenes stuff that only the people that were at the conference got to see, we just kind of wanted to share that. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, tell us uh, what you think. And if you like our videos in general, definitely subscribe. Um, so, yeah, and Hi. we appreciate that. And you can find us on Instagram and on Twitter. Yep, and that is just at, K, or, uh, at AJ and KT Gaming for both of those. So, yeah, um, and of course the links for those will always be down in the description of the video. So, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all later.